guys, I'm chilling in my sportswear because today I'm coming at you with a healthy living and fitness haul which includes a book that I really like, some equipment that I've got recently and also some workout wear bits that I'm just absolutely loving. You can see I'm, I just don't want to take it off. And I know that it's ridiculously cliche to talk about these things around New Year's time but I must admit I always fall hook, line, and <laughs> sinker for it. So I thought I would share some things that I have picked up recently in case you two are in the same boat. Let's talk some foodie bits that I picked up first. Now I get a lot of my health related food stuff from Amazon because of course I live in Brighton and there are a ton of health food shops here, a ton in town. But when I can't be bothered to traipse all the way into town, good old Amazon Prime always comes up trumps for me. And the first thing that I picked up might not seem like the healthiest thing because it is a huge litre bottle of maple syrup. Now me and Mark don't go through too much of this but I tend to use it a lot in cooking. We use it at the weekend sometimes if we've got pancakes and stuff and it's much better value to buy the big bottle instead of going to buy like the little ones in the supermarket all the time. I think this was around £14 and the little tiny bottles tend to be about £5 so this works out a bit of a bargain and it's a really good sweetener that I use in cooking a lot. Another sweet treat are these. Now this is a massive bag of Medjool dates. The bag is so big that it is bigger than my head and these again are really expensive if you buy them individually so I tend to buy them in bulk. I will link all of these things below so you can see the exact seller that I use for these. I've bought these before, they're not pitted so you have to pit them yourself but I just pit them, put them in like a huge kilna jar and again I use these a lot in cooking. I make these chocolate peanut butter ball things that I'm absolutely obsessed with. They are so good and whenever I fancy like a little sweet treat I sort of have one or two of these balls. I make them in a food processor and they are so easy to make. One of my friends actually has them on order. Whenever she comes over she's like, you haven't got any of those chocolate peanut butter balls have you? And I send her home with like a little Tupperware box of them because they are that good. Now the final foodie bit that I picked up is coconut oil. I'm sure you've heard the spiel about coconut oil before so I'll spare you that. But I use this one. It's from Tiana and it is their no coconut taste, no coconut aroma one because personally when I cook with it I don't want it to make everything that I cook with taste like coconut and this doesn't. You can see I've almost used probably a third of it already. Now for workout equipment and I actually started to see a personal trainer before Christmas because I thought right I'm going to try and get into a bit of a routine and into this whole thing before the shock of January comes and I've eaten my whole body weight in pigs and blankets and stuffing and it's going really well. It's mostly weight training which I have never done before but I'm actually really enjoying it. I tend to own only like lay down and have a nap maybe like two or three times a session and I've only been in the fetal position once because one exercise was just way way too much for me but it's really nice it's nice to kind of mix it up and I'm hoping this year to kind of incorporate it with a bit of yoga and then a bit of weight training and then you kind of got the best of both worlds there but some days I just can't get to the gym I just haven't got enough time so my personal trainer recommended one of these Ugh. oh my god oh no how can I do this yeah Remote control's gone up the bum. It is a kettlebell. Now I did actually have one of these, but it was four kilograms, and I realized I could just like swing it around and it wasn't really providing enough resistance for me. So I picked up this one, which is eight kilograms, which I can barely, oh, I can barely lift. So on days where I can't make it to the gym, I just throw this around for like 20 minutes and I've got a few fitness blender workouts that I use. I will link those down below. They're great. They're hard work, but it's actually quite fun because you're just kind of like, Woo, swinging this around and this is a Davina one I think. Yeah, Davina a cool one. I picked that up from Argus and also at Argus I picked up these. They're like little weightlifting gloves. They weren't too expensive and they just spare my hands from getting like dry and getting those little callousy, hard skin bits on. So I really like these. I'll quickly mention a book that I picked up recently before we get onto the workout gear because that's obviously the best bit. Now this book, originally my sister wanted it for Christmas. She said that she'd had it in her Amazon basket for ages and not actually got around to purchasing it. So I bought it for her and then before I was wrapping it up, I was sort of having a flick through and I was like, this book is really good. So the next day I picked one up for myself and it is the Women's Health Big Book of X exercises and inside it's kind of broken down into different chapters for different body parts and then there's all these different types of exercises for different parts of your body and it's all really clearly laid out and there's a warm-up section there's a section at the back for like the best workouts for different workouts that you want and it tells you which pages they're on how many reps you should do how long it should take you the rest times it's just a very interesting book with an absolute shed load of information in it now onto the fun part which is workout gear which I absolutely 
absolutely love, you know that about me already, I just, I love lycra, what can I say? And I'm a really big fan of wearing stuff that is practical, that fits you well, and makes you feel good when you're working out. I guess it didn't really matter before when I was doing just at home stuff, like sometimes I just do yoga in my pants, why not? But when you're actually leaving the house, I feel like I just want to put a little bit more effort in and sort of wear stuff that fits in with my taste. And a lot of the time I'm running errands either before I'm going or after I'm going, so I'm kind of out and about. So it's nice to wear stuff that, you know, you're standing in the line at the post office and you still feel like you look all right. I actually wore some of these things around to my grandparents the other day and I was like, oh, so sorry, so sweaty in my gym gear. And my grandma was like, I didn't even know. I thought you were just wearing some really funky printed leggings. <laughs> so I like the kind of stuff that works really nicely for the gym and it's very practical, but also looks good when you're just sort of wandering around and posting parcels and picking up your dry cleaning and doing your food shop and stuff like that. And the brand that really does that for me is a brand called Varley. I first discovered it on Fascia Size, but they're also stocked on ASOS as well and they've obviously got their own website. And the stuff is just completely spot on. Like I would wear this stuff anyway, just wandering like out and about, let alone when you're working out. And it's not the cheapest stuff out there, but it's kind of in line with like Nike sort of high-end stuff. I'd say it's similar price-wise to that. And I really like the prints. There's a lot of monochrome going on, which obviously I enjoy. And I find that I fit the sizing really well. So I tend to just be like a small across the board. Everything fits. You know, you can order it. You don't have to send it back. It's easy peasy. So the first thing that I picked up are these, and I think they're called the Skyscraper Leggings, maybe? They've got a matching bra top, crop top thing that goes with it, but I've just got these for now, and these are so soft and so comfortable. They just fit perfectly. They don't go too high on the belly, they don't go too low. They're also not see-through, which I've discovered that a lot of my leggings were, and when you're standing there and you're sort of doing like squats and your personal trainer's like stretching you out, you don't want them to be able to see your underwear. So really, really enjoying wearing these. These are the ones that my grandma thought were just funky printed leggings. And then also this top, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell, but on the back, yeah, you can't really see that, on the back it's got like a big dip at the back, which doesn't show too much, but it looks really nice if you've got like a racer back crop top on underneath. Shows a bit of skin, but nothing too much. And again, just cut really nicely, cut really well on the arms. The branding isn't too in your face, and I think they do this in white and navy as well. And I might have maybe picked up the navy as well, and that is on its way to me. But overall, just really enjoying their stuff. I would definitely recommend checking them out. So that concludes my little haul video. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll be back on Sunday with a brand new video Video, and I'm actually going to show you the winter additions to my capsule wardrobe so keep an eye out for that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye